Hello, comrades. Comrades, and welcome back to my review of cupcakes. So, yeah, in the last episode, oh, well, we got part way down it. Um, yeah, I don't exactly remember where we are. I think it's around here. Uh, yeah. Yep. So, we're just going to finish reading it. Don't mind the ads. So, yeah. Let's get into it. Um, you know, I thought you were tough. I thought you could handle anything. I've had full stand up better than you. Hmm. Do I have, have the baby? Huh? Do you want to remember you as a baby? Okay, that actually doesn't make any sense. Do I have to baby you? That doesn't make any sense. Um, okay, we're we're like three th like two thirds the way done, so we should be good to go. Okay, let's see. As Pinky stopped to catch her breath, Dash blinked and sobbed softly. Her back was in agony. Her sides were on fire, and and there was an intense pain in one of her legs. As she blinked again, she saw Pinky pop. Something red into her mouth and began to chew. Noticing Dash's stare, Pinky quickly gulped down a morsel. What? asked Pinky. Oh, this? She held up another piece. Well, while you were asleep, I got a little impatient and helped myself to a small sample. I got some from your leg. Not bad. Want to try some? Without waiting for a response, Pinky shoved the strip of meat into the revolted Pegasus's mouth. Oh, revolted the Pegasus pony's mouth. Okay. Um, Dash gagged and immediately spat, immediately spit it out. Should it be, shouldn't it be, and immediately spat it out? Okay then. Um, Pinky frowned and picked up the chunk of flesh. If you didn't want it, you could have just said no. She cut temp the discard, it's snotty more, so and gulped it down, and gulped it up. It's not like you haven't had my cupcakes before. Hmm. Bat out me like as a human. Um, I would have just done it because it's raw. In all honesty, would have just done it because it's raw. But if it's good meat, then it's good meat. Tire computers like it. Okay, let's continue. Hmm. Uh, swallowing Pinky Tur turned her attention to a small can on the truck. Hey, she removed the lid, revealing that it was filled with red-hot coals. Lying on top were several large nails. As adrenaline filled her veins, Dash began to panic again. Picking up the can, Pinky walked over to Dash. His left, holding some tongs, tongs with her mouth, Pinky carefully picked up a nail, positioned. And at the seam between her victim's front left leg and hoof. What the fuck? Is she gonna crucify her? Okay, this is interesting. She then grabbed a hammer and took a careful aim. No, oh, Pinky! Dash screamed. No, no! The hammer came down on the nail, puncturing Dash's skin. 
The white hot burn. The white hot burning was too much. The white hot burning was too much. What? Shouldn't it say the white hot burning nail? Because it mentions nail over here. That screamed as she pulled, pulled and thrashed at the braces, uh, causing her raw skin to rub and tear. Pinky tried to line another nail, but couldn't find her aim. Aim and then a frustrated grunt. When Pinky got the hammer back, take a wild swing, Dash bursted out crying, begging, Please, please stop. Please, please stop. Hmm. Honestly, it sounds like Pinky's crucifying RD. God damn. It's pretty hardcore. Um, Pinky rolled her eyes, putting down the hammer and the tongs. She walked back in front of her friend and stared pensively at the broken Pegasus. Gilda didn't even cry this much when she had a live Paris Sprite stuffed down her throat. Pinky thought for a minute about what to do next and had suddenly spark then had a sudden spark of inspiration. Danny even cried this much when she had a live Paris Sprite stuffed down her throat. If you mean, like, scream, then that probably makes sense. The Paris Fire probably ate her vocal cords. Makes sense. Makes sense. Um, rotating the wheel on the rack, Pinky laid Dash on the... on her back, then moved to Dash's hind leg, bringing a can with her. Picking up her tools, Pinky drove a searing hot spike of metal directly into the bottom of Dash's hoof. Okay, I just thought of something. She says hot nails, but how big are these nails? Are they like... Are they like the size you'd use for like building a house? Like, are they like that? Something like that? Are they like railroad spikes? Because if there were that first one, I could see how it would be painful. If it's that same way, she's reacting accordingly. As Dash yelled in pain, Pinky moved around and drove a second nail into the other hoof. And then Pinky went back to her cart. Located an anonymous battery and controller. What the fuck? Okay. Hope that wasn't picked up. Um, which she dragged over to where she was working. She tied copper wires between the terminal and a nail driven into Dash's hooves. Then gave Dash a wink and flipped the switch. Electricity rocketed through Dash's body. The blue pony reacted immediately. Her body seized and her muscles snapped tight. Taut? Uh, Dash's hips thrusted skywards. Her eyes rolled back and she let out a deep throat shredding cry. Pinky gurgled and giggled and danced in place. Then reached down and turned up the juice. Dash convulsed uncontrollably, and her bladder emptied once more. Turned up the juice. What do you mean? 
If you ask me, it just sounds like she turned up... If she's turning up the voltage, then I can see why that would cause her... Cause Dash to seize up. If she's turning up the ampage, that would explain a lot. Yeah, that would explain a lot, actually. Did her bladder once more. Okay, so as she did that, she pissed herself again. Not my cup of tea, honestly. Um, after about five minutes, Pinky shut off the power. Wisps of steam rose from this fur around Dash's hooves. Ugh. An area reeked of cooked flesh and burnt enamel? Enamel? Oh, is that from the bone? Ugh. Pinky rotated Dash upright again and tried... Happened to drooling, delirious pony back to action. Dash! Dash! Rainbow Dash, wake up! Dash moaned and managed to give, uh... Give a what? Give a blank of weak acknowledgement. Modicum. 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 Modicum? Modicum. I've never seen that word before. Before. Might have heard of it before. Never seen it written out. Um, Pinky studied her handiwork, then reached into the medicine bag and pulled out a large string. Alright, time for the last round. Dash focused blurredly on the needle, which Dash took as a question as what it was. This is a little something and to take the pain away. Pinky informed Dash as she walked around her victim, ruined back. Uh, Dash flinched as Pinky jabbed the needle into her lower, into the lower part of the blue pony spine. Moved in front of her friend again. And Pinky leaned down and elaborated. In a few in a few minutes, you won't be able to feel anything below oh, your rib cage, and you'll be able to stay awake to watch the harvest. Dash started to cry again. What the hell did she get ever? It's not morphine. It's not a opioid or painkiller. Sounds like a numbing agent. What? Hmm. Very intrigued. How long have I been? 13 minutes, okay. So our gang and Pinky, she choked up. Yeah? I wanna go home, Dash Sub. Yeah, I can see wanting to do that, replied the party pony. Sometimes I just wanna give up. And just say, I'm done with this mess. You go to bed. But you know what? You can't shrug off your responsibilities. You got to pull yourself up and meet the challenges ahead. Challenges head on. That's the only way you're going to get ahead in life. That's the only way you're going to get ahead in life. In this context, it means hey. Hey, you'll feel less pain, I guess. Fuck you, Pinky. Fuck you. Dash hung, hung her head and cried. Okay, we're almost done. Minutes pass as the drug took effect. Eventually, Dash was completely numb from her chest to her lower flank. Across the pet This is... Across the Pegasus Pony's pelvis. Oh, Pinky made a horizontal... What? Hold on, I'm, I misread this. At this point, Pinky approached the approach of a scalpel. Glancing at Dash and smiled, Pinky made a long horizontal cut across the po 
Pegasus Pony's pelvis, just above her crotch. Moving up, Dash's body. Uh, Pinky made a small incision under her ribs. Finally, Pinky made a long vertical cut uh, down Dash's stomach, connecting the first two. Looks like I got my eye on you, Dash. Pinky giggled. I don't get it. With a moist, gooey sound, the flap of skin opened. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Wait, so she... Okay, so she's not filleting her. She's cutting her up like a surgeon. In the wood. So it'd be like... A... Hope you enjoyed the sound effects. <laughs> um, the sight of her organs and a lack of feeling caused Dash's breathing to intensify. Pinky carefully slice... Pinky carefully sliced open the ashes of Dom's sack and grabbed, a, grabbed her large intestine as she separated the organ from the rest of the digestive tract and pulled it out of the new cavity. Pinky grew jo grew joyfully? Jovially? Laughing as she he gutted her friend, Pinky began to make jokes. Dash, growing weaker from the source of blood loss, tired desperately to shut out the macabre comedy act. Look at me. Me, I'm Rarity. Pinky laughed, slinging a tube around her neck and spraying blood, blood in all directions. Isn't my mm, scarf so pretty? If you're really trying to, to um, uh, do an impression of Rarity, you'd say, isn't my new scarf just fabulous, darling? Or some shit like that. Um, here's your back inside. Uh, she sliced up the small intestine. Lines off from her bowels. Off from the bowels. Squeezing out the excess excrement. Well, the slimy organ through her teeth and dragged it back through. And to say you should floss every day, Dash. Okay, I'm actually starting to get grossed out. Like, my stomach. It's like starting to tense up. I was just barely aware of what was going on anymore. The shock was causing her to fade. Disappointing Pinky dived back into. Well, it's ramping up her routine. Ah, uh, don't go yet, Dash. Pinky. Pinky started pulling out Dash's organs, pausing the feed for removal. I know, I know I can be a real pancreas, but you know I was, I'm just kidding you with you. Real, you really need to learn to liver it up. Boy, these jokes are getting bladder. I guess you better develop a stomach for them. No, thank you. No, thank you. Caught my neck. Hold on. Okay. You get placed the discarded body parts into a bucket, keep the last one for a bit longer. Ooh, egg pipes. She said, placing the end of Dash's esophagus in her mouth. 
stomach in her armpit. She squeezed and spread out acid and a spread of acid her tongue. Yeah. Oh hey look, here's your cupcake, Gash. Dash in here the her tormentor. She had slipped from consciousness minutes ago. Pinky, not yet satisfied, hit Dash with another adrenaline shot. She woke up for the last time, her heart pounding, warm blood flowed out from her, wound in her chest, and great spurts. It wouldn't be long now. Mickey brought Dash. Huh. Mickey brought Dash around into her back again, and straddled the blue pony's chest, scalpel at the ready. You know, Dash, I'm disappointed. I thought you would have lasted longer. I really wanted to spend more time with you. You know, before we got here, but I guess that's my fault. I should have taken a little, taken it all, should have taken it a little slower. Oh well. It was, it was re it was really was nice knowing you, Dash. Oh, it was really was nice knowing you, Dash. Okay, okay, okay. So, this could make any, this could make grammatical sense if you removed either one of these was because they could either say it was really nice knowing you dash or or it really was nice knowing you dash either one of those makes sense but it seems like the author tried to put those two together didn't work out uh the blade sunk into the into the blue throat and worked its way down dash's chin uh, coming back down, Pinky he scalpeled, then circled Dash's neck. And the last thing Rainbow Dash felt was her skin being cut away from her skull with the, me with the metal blade scraping her teeth. Ugh. Then she was gone. Ah, oh, come on, this is just getting longer by the second. Hold on, guys. I'm gonna have to pause the um. Uh, I'm gonna have to pause the recording session for a sec. I'm back, guys. So let's get back to where we were. Um. Then she was gone. Okay. Pinky's staring into the mirror. She had done a really good job. Even keeping the eyelids. She winked and Dash winked back. Pinky smiled. But still, she was sad that her friend was now gone. Dash had only lasted 50, 50 minutes. Not nearly long enough as Pinky wanted to. Wait. 50 minutes. Fifty minutes. So she not like after a long time. Was she expect her to last for in a day? It's like gee, says, Minky, you need you need to have some realistic expectations. Like it's surprising that she lasted that long. <coughs> she looked back over to the to the cadaver hanging hanging in the center of the room. Her rest of her friend's fluids drained into a pan. Yep. No, my rainbow dash. Oh, we're at the end. Um, as she looked, Pinky cocked her head. She began to take notice of the fact that there really wasn't much damage to the corpse. In fact, the pink pony used, I think, an idea exploded in her head. Just exploded into her head. She's gone to. 
she was good at sewing, and she had all the pieces. All she had to do, do was put them back together. Yeah. She just had to get some stuff in, and bingo. Oh, she would have Rainbow Dash forever. In fact, thought Pinky, that's what she'd do for all, all her best friends when their numbers came up. She was so excited, she skipped right over the body uh, with her skinner to get started. The cupcakes could wait. Pinkie Pie had a friend to make. Hold on, this is... Okay, so that was interesting. Honestly, I think the only part that would sort of be, like, creepy or, like, scary was just the detail of gore. Like, it wasn't very gory, because I've seen creepypastas go into a lot more detail. So, overall, it wasn't too bad. Oh, God. I. Stop that, I. Contain yourself. <clears throat> yeah, and overall, it wasn't too bad, but... Besides... Honestly, besides the lack of horror and the fact that uh, there was actually quite a few grammar errors, I would honestly have to give it a 6 out of 10. And so overall, not that bad. Could be a lot worse, could be a lot better. No, no, we have extra time. I can take a look around a bit. Okay, so... Categories. Not safe for work. Mental illness. Dismemberment. Memes. <laughs> Memes. Uh, let's see. Comments. Remember that I watched a fan cupcake video. Yeah. It's familiar to the cupcake. It's made by Dwarf Y Zero. Pony, we're talking. That's by Russell Ferguson, 12. That was 18 days ago. Oh my shit! What the hell is it? Okay, I'm not an MLP fan, but I came to this thinking it was going to be a shitty. But it kind of was, so here's the review. Review. So if you think gore and violence makes the story great, it does... Does it? It may... It's making the story stupid. It, I made a really gory story, but seriously... This is too messed up. My story got deleted anyways. This did have a pretty good concept, except in the fact that the character was FUCKING TORTURED! X D D D D D D D D But seriously, this was super messed up. That was by O2 Reactor. Um, okay. Calm your tits, O2. Uh, oh, Pinkie Pie, I love you so much. Not in a lesbian way. Horse star of horse clan. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Not really creepypasta, it's more of a shock fic. Still pr pretty morbidly interesting. Fun fact, bo both this and Squitter Suicide make... Cringe at the gore parts. Rain 7 out of 10. Yeah, honestly, what Fump, Fumple Dump, Frumple Dumple wrote right here 
Like, this first part, I agree with. This second part, meh. Um, Dash felt a warm release between her legs. Props to the author for finding the least disgusting way to say she pissed herself. Okay. Uh, and the last one is going to be from Jeski07. Oh, and the last one was from Ark of Ruin. I hate this MLP creepypasta. It's overrated and badly written. If you want a real gore fest, read Experiments of Twilight Sparkle. Overall, like I said, I give it a 6 out of 10. Yeah, overall, it wasn't too bad. Like, it, it was bad. It wasn't too bad. I'll give it 6 out of 10. Uh, I'll give it 6 out of 10. So, that, comrades, have been my review of Cupcakes. Overall, like I said, I'll give it a 6 out of 10. If it wasn't... If you remove all the grammar errors, it probably would have been a 7 out of 10. Overall, though, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't, wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. It was okay. It was okay. It wasn't too, too bad. Yeah. Um, like I said, though, comrades, that has been my review of Cupcakes. I hope you guys have... hope you, you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure to hit the... Like button and comment down below. I hope to see all you glorious comrades in the next video. Bye.